Hey Facebook fam, Maminar Mohawish here, founder and editor-in-chief of Mint Press News. Um, today I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about a very unsettling arrest of someone who I consider to be my friend. Her name is Marzuria Hashimi. She's an American journalist who works at Press TV and she was recently abducted by the FBI um, and she has basically been held uh, and arrested uh, and detained without much explanation other than um, something that was released yesterday from her family that she was um, arrested to appear in court for a criminal investigation but the FBI is not releasing any information as to um, what that criminal investigation is and to be honest with you guys, I'm pretty disturbed and appalled by the coverage of her arrest as an American journalist who has been, um, you know, being held without any charges. Um, pretty appalled and disturbed by the coverage by the mainstream media. Um, so before I talk a little bit about that, I just want to go over some of what's happening with her. Um, you know, she is an American journalist. She is a TV anchor for Press TV. And she was recently arrested, I believe it was on Sunday, by the FBI at the St. Louis airport. She was born and raised in New Orleans. She's an African-American, um, you know, rights activist. And I would think that this kind of arrest would make um, some pretty big headlines here in the United States where we uphold our First Amendment and we um, proclaim to care about uh, human rights and the rights of our journalists because as many of you know um, if journalists are um, You know arrested or detained in any other country that is easily used for cause for our so-called humanitarian wars Yet it's happening right here. I haven't heard um, Anderson Cooper from CNN. I haven't heard Rachel Maddow from SNBC haven't really heard much coverage um, from mainstream journalists demanding to know answers, calling the FBI to try to understand why she was arrested. Instead, we have corporate mainstream media um, pushing pro-war, anti-Iran propaganda on full blast uh, to try to promote uh, war with Iran and the dehumanization of the Iranian people, even though Mazria is not even, you know, she's not Iranian. She's an African-American woman uh, from uh, New Orleans. And so I wanted to bring attention to her unsettling arrest. I'm like out shopping right now and I had to stop myself because I can't really enjoy myself knowing that someone who works in the same field as me, um, you know, in journalism, she's a citizen journalist too, you know, she is the kind of journalist that represents uh, the true moral courage uh, that many uh, American, other American corporate media journalists lack. I mean, this woman, uh, Mazri Hashmi, if you've watched her show on press, press TV, she is covering the struggle of African Americans here in the United States. Um, their struggle with police brutality, with income inequality, with racial discrimination, with the injustice system that we have, uh, with the imprisonment of African Americans. She is an anti war. Uh, voice. She's constantly promoting peace. Um, so you'd think that um, her type of moral courage would um, bring her plight to the attention of the mainstream media, uh, but it hasn't. And even now as she's being detained and sits in jail without much explanation, her rights as a Muslim woman have uh, been disrespected. The FBI um, has forcibly removed her hijab, her headscarf. They're forcing her to eat things that um, are unlawful for her, that she doesn't feel comfortable to eat. Um, not to mention like prison food in general is pretty you know, gross and extremely unhealthy for not just her, but for um, all the other prisoners that are held in American jails. And so um, I hope, I hope, I hope that people will take this opportunity to join the hashtag uh, free Mazria Hashimi, um, pray, hashtag pray for Mazria Hashimi. Her family has released that. And so as an American journalist, I am calling on all of the American journalist, journalism establishment to come out and demand uh, more information about why Mazria has been 
uh, detained and to demand for her release and to stand up and to stand with her. Um, it wasn't too long ago when Al Jazeera journalists um, covering the, um, the chaos in Egypt under the Morsi uh, government um, were arrested and, uh, and I'm sorry, under the Sisi government, they were arrested and detained several handful of them and I watched every single mainstream journalist independent and mainstream and corporate whatever left right call on the release of these journalists um, yet we're not seeing very much coverage uh, for Mazria and perhaps it is because she's a Muslim woman she wears the hijab she's african-american you know she's a woman she's black and she's got a hijab on her head so she is the ultimate ultimate uh, minority when it comes to trying to bring attention uh, to these issues and not only that when the media has been covering her story um, they are like I mentioned before they're pushing this pro war agenda anti-Iran rhetoric and I know that our media can do much better than that to justify her arrest um, they are pushing anti-Iran rhetoric to promote uh, war propaganda. And so once again, I'm calling on all of my friends, all of our readers at Mint Press News, if you care about our First Amendment, if you care about the rights of fellow journalists, especially journalists who have moral courage, utmost moral courage like Mazria, um, then you should share this post and call on the American media establishment um, to stand up with Mazria to defend her voice, to be her voice, as um, the free Mazria Hashmi hashtag has called on, and to demand her release and for more information. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys will join me in this campaign, and uh, peace be to all of you. Thank you.